Sego with a hard right leg kick. Throw a big right hand. How do you throw devastating low kicks? I'm talking about the ones where you get hit with one of those, you're limping for days after the fight. How do we generate the power? I'm gonna give you guys four key points. Number one, if you're gonna be throwing leg kicks with power, make sure you make contact with your shin bone, the tibialis bone. If you were to make uh, contact with the small, fragile bones of your foot, could easily be broken. So you wanna make sure if you're gonna be throwing hard kicks, connect with the hard bones, your tibialis bone. Number two, set yourself up for success by stepping off of the center line. So if my left foot is on the center line, I wanna step 45 degrees up on the balls of the feet, off of the center line. This is gonna help us strike through our target, doing more damage. It's another good, another good reason to step off the center line is it gets your head off of the center. So I, if I just throw my kick, straight punch could come right down the middle. So I wanna make sure I'm moving my head as I step off the center line right before I throw the kick. Number three, the most important point for generating power is rotating your hips over. Almost like you're chopping down a tree. You wanna make sure that you step open, lift the leg up, and then chop down. So step. Chop down one more time. And number four, return to your stance. So if I were to throw a kick, boom, but then be out of my stance, I'm vulnerable to get hit. So if you throw that kick, if your opponent backs up and you miss, boom, you gotta be in your stance where you're ready to fire right away. Here are the key points of throwing the low kick. Connect with your shin, step off the center line, head off the center line, rotate your hips over and return to your stance. In this next drill, my opponent is circling to the left, which means their left leg is heavy. Great time to throw the low kick as they won't be able to effectively block. In this next drill, I'm setting up the low kick by throwing a left hook. That left hook causes my opponent's lead leg to be heavy, therefore they can't effectively block the low kick. To continue learning, please check out the next video on parrying, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.